Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Other times I have given my two cents about uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And finally I uh, will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this blog, I would like to do a very special video and tribute to Autism with Skip because they are doing a project called Awareness Craft Bullying and uh, they are doing a charity to raise money and uh, make more people aware about autism and uh, stamp out bullying. Now, I wanted to share some experiences with you about uh, the types of bullying that I've seen since I'm on the autism spectrum and um, I've seen... Um, the bullying spectrum from A to Z. Now, I'm sure you probably think of uh, people being shoved into lockers or shoved against lockers or um, possibly uh, possibly given wedgies or manipulated into doing homework um, for the bully. No, bullying is much more than that and bullying is not just contained to schools. Bullying is everywhere. I mean, you can have bullying by people who are our friends and these are people who act friendly to our face and um, they know our hot buttons and so what they like to do is weave little uh, little spikes into the comments to hurt the other person because they don't feel good about themselves now bullying can also take place by people in our family and um, it can take place uh, out on the street by our neighbors because the neighbors don't understand I mean they can take place by our therapists they can take place by uh, places of employment and possibly even places that are supposed to be understanding of us and I would like to give a um, I would like to give a few experiences of uh, bullying in the workplace and um, I was not shoved against the locker I was not beaten up but um, I knew I was treated differently because I mean I'd worked at uh, this place of employment for eight years and um, the boss that owned the company um, had a son with very severe autism and so you would think that she and the other co-workers would be quite understanding of my situation when in fact they were not um, and I would like to give a few experiences of it um, because I uh, was it on April 1st 2009 it was of course that's April Fool's Day I mean this is one of my favorite holidays I uh, like to uh, walk around and make little sarcastic jokes. I don't necessarily like to set off a bunch of pranks that annoy people. I just like to say sarcastic things and then just uh, go, April Fools? Maybe, um, maybe one minute after making the comments. But this particular year, somebody decided to uh, put a kick me sign on my back. And of course, other co-workers were silent about it uh, other than making little comments. and. And one of them said, well, we're back to the days of high school, huh? And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, he goes, well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Well, a couple hours later, um, the person that put the kick me sign on my back decided to, they ripped it off me. And um, at first I laughed, and then I was going to take the kick me sign and put it on, uh, on his back. And of course, one of the other co-workers who worked there for a while was also a bully. Uh, she, uh, I mean, I'll talk. I don't want to talk about her, but she was a bully because she was one of those people that made fun of people you behind your back and acted like your friend. But basically, she uh, snotted off at me to go back to work, and I was mad at that point. And I said, I'm going to tell the job coach about this. And um, the boss was in there as well, and she got upset and said, oh, my goodness, Maya, stop it. We were just kidding. We don't do this every day, do we? This is April Fool's Day for crying out loud. What's your problem? And... Uh, uh, I, I mean, that's not an excuse. You don't put a kick me sign on somebody else's back. I mean, uh, I mean, I know they probably thought it was funny, but it was hurtful to me because I was trying to fit in, I was trying to work hard, and I was trying to uh, make something of myself, and they put that kick me sign on my back. Yeah, that's bullying. And then another time, uh, I was eating lunch, and I was on a very low budget, and I brought in a salad that didn't look so good, and um, her son was there, and uh, of course he's autistic, and he was opening up the word, he was opening up his mouth and constantly saying, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. But he wasn't pointing at the salad or anything, and suddenly his mom butted in for him, he doesn't like your salad! 
And um, I mean, I thought that was really, really hurtful, and I thought that was really inappropriate. And especially for somebody that's supposed to be understanding of, of someone with autism, when in fact uh, you act like you've never seen someone with autism before. I mean, good grief, she probably doesn't even understand her own son or understand what he's even thinking. I mean, he, I mean, he might have talked about the salad or he might have been thinking of something else. But I mean, it still wasn't right to make those comments. And then my uh, job coach was a really big bully. I mean, she wasn't just a bully to me, she was a bully in general. She would uh, come in and uh, make really, really nasty comments that would make the other person feel bad. And she did it over and over again. And, She's very intimidating. Well, she would call me Little Miss Pris several times, and I had asked her not to do that. And um, I finally got fed up with it, and I told uh, her other job coach about it. And uh, she she made an excuse to me that, oh, uh, oh, I was just giving you a nice nickname. I call my dogs Little Miss Pris all the time, so why are you ups so upset about it? And I said, I don't like it. But... I had also managed to tell her about the um, the incident with the kick me sign, uh, and uh, her excuse to me that they were just again though they were just kidding. I mean, th and then she compared my joke to a joke that it, that uh, the same job coach pulled on her. So, just so you know, um, bullying you know goes on everywhere, and people are not always aware that they do it to the other person, and. Um, of course, so everybody at that company that I worked, they were just really clueless. They, I mean, they thought it was funny, but it was hurtful to me. So if you're doing that kind of uh, thing to somebody with autism or somebody that appears to be different, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.